Hi folks, Dan Dale here with uh, Total Sales Solutions in Jackson, Mississippi, where we sell mostly diesel trucks. We sell rust-free Southern trucks. Uh, those of you that watch our videos, probably you see my dad doing this, but it's hunting season, so probably won't see much of him doing videos for the next month or two. But anyway, today we have got one of those trucks that's getting harder and harder to find. It's a 2006 Chevrolet. Sorry, I'm sorry, 2007 Chevrolet Silverado Classic 2500 HD LT with the 6.6 .6 LBZ Duramax diesel engine. These LBZs are the ones everybody wants. You can only get them in 06 and the, and the 07 Classic body styles. The new body style 07s didn't have them, just these classics. That's why these trucks hold their value so well because uh, LBZ is one everybody wants. But this one just traded in on a new one not too long ago. I've been driving it a while. I've had this truck probably three months. I'm going to take you for a little walk around and then we'll go for a test drive. First up, you can see all the lights are extra clear. The lenses aren't fading or cracked or anything. They're all in great shape. Got a new windshield on it got a brand new well there may be a month old but they're basically a brand new set of wheels and tires uh, the ones that were on it the factory Duramax wheels are bad about peeling they look like crap when they do so I just bought a brand new set of these alloy wheels or American racing style wheels by Ion uh, and a brand new set of 285 tires to give it the right stance look inside no rust southern truck these control arms look to have been replaced at some point. That's a common wear, wear item on these. But look inside, a little dirty, a little dusty for me driving it. But overall, a clean truck. You can see the headliner's in good shape. Uh, one thing I like, the flip-up console, so you can see three across. Look at the steering wheel, not ripped or torn. Um, dash is nice let me move my phone you can see all that's good of course look in the the rockers in the corners no rust no corrosion let me hit the locks here look in the back seat i guess it helped if my mechanic had not left the, the buffer in it but anyway it is what it is um Got the nice flip down armrests with uh, cup holders. Uh, there's a trick to this. Oh, here it is. Look under here. Just a nice, clean truck. Um, again, in the cap corners are all good. Uh, no signs of previous paint work on here. You see, full size spare tire. That is a turnover ball. Now, even if you don't need a turnover ball, that's an expensive hitch, and it only adds value to the truck. Now, look behind the wheels. Maybe one or two rock pecks, but it's not ate up with rock pecks. So, what that tells you is the truck has spent very little, if any, time going up and down farm roads, gravel roads, spinning out in the mud, slinging rocks and stuff all over it. I also put these LED tail lights on it, which I like. Um, but look down the side, see how straight it is. Stock exhaust. I like a stock truck. Now I like turning up the power and messing around with trucks, but I like to be the one doing it, so I don't have to worry about somebody else doing a half-baked job. But look at the seats, how nice they all are. Look up here. Like I said the dash is nice. Now it's got got all the manuals that come with it. I don't know if you can see in here, but it's got the uh, where is it? 373 limited slip, skid plates, one uh, SZ. That's the good package. Z82 and Z85. That's the heavy duty towing and suspension packages. Um, got the LEDs in the mirrors. Just a super nice truck. Now, is it perfect? Is it brand new? No, but it's nice. 
and face it by now most of these trucks they're either low mileage and people want 30 grand for them or they're high mileage and just war slap out this one is far far from war slap out I mean uh, we've had trucks with these LBZ engines with five and six hundred thousand miles so 230 on this one is barely broken in but anyway I want to show you under the hood and then we're going to take it for a test drive. If you have any questions, give me a call, 601-376-9869. If I don't answer, hang up, shoot me a text. Don't leave me a voicemail. I don't always answer my phone in the mornings or in the evenings, but I'll, if I'm awake, I almost always answer a text. So anyway, uh, now we'll show you under the hood and take it for a spin. Okay, before I take you on a test drive, just want to show you a few things under the hood. First of all, we don't clean under hoods. This is just how it came in. So a little dusty, a little dirt, nothing major. One thing you can take away from it though is this truck hasn't spent much time, if any, out in the mud because when they have all these bare aluminum pieces get a brown patina that you just can't clean off and this one doesn't have that. What it does have is the right kind of antifreeze in it. It's full, got all it should have, all it needs in it. But the main thing I want to show you is Take this cap off, no blow by, not even a wisp of smoke. Although smoke's not a big deal as long as it's not puffing. The main thing is, see I set the fill cap down, it doesn't blow off. That means there's uh, no blow by. Blow by is engine compression getting past the piston rings and into the crankcase. It's not necessarily the sign of a bad engine, but it's a sign of wear that this truck doesn't have. But anyway, now we're gonna hop in and take it for a spin. Okay, now we're in the truck. I'm gonna take you on a test drive first I want to show you a few things um, you can see you got the stereo CD that works and I don't have any CDs to test that but uh, I'm sure it's fine dual zone climate tow haul mode has the um, manual shift mode steering wheel controls see the push button four-wheel drive works automatic headlights mirrors fog lights all that good stuff even the little compass and thermometer in the uh, mirror work and that's an auto dimming rearview mirror it does have a new windshield so you don't have to worry about cracks or rock picks or anything uh, you'll have to excuse my shaky camera work because as always I'm filming with one hand and driving with the other on some of the worst roads in the city of Jackson but even though the the road and the camera might even though the video might come out a little shaky the truck itself has a great ride and drive um, no clunks or bangs or any of that um, goes down the road just like it should doesn't pull to the left or right doesn't vibrate or pull when you hit the brakes um, fires right up hot or cold there's there's no issues with any of that um, and on a, on a power stroke you want to hear it crank cold but on Duramax for whatever reason it's the opposite you want to hear it uh, make sure it cranks hot because if they have problem injector problems or anything they may run fine until you cut it off and you go to crank it back up and not crank but this one runs great either way um, does have a trailer brake controller um, the dash is not peeling or anything cigarette lighter you can see is, is perfect um, I'm not gonna swear a cigarettes never been lit in this truck in its entire life but there's no smoke odors there's no pet odors there's none of that uh, even the steering wheel and that steering wheel looks perfect uh, the leather's perfect on it obviously it's been out on the interstate this whole life. I mean, 235,000 on one of these is just getting uh, barely broke in. We've uh, had these, these LBZ Duramaxes are the most sought after Duramax diesels for a reason. They're, they hold their value better than any other truck for a reason. There's, uh, you know, you can probably go buy a 2010, or well, maybe an eight. Uh, for what I'll sell this one for and the reason for that is these 07 LBZs had all the 
the upgrades got 360 horse got the six-speed Allison transmission they got all the upgrades but they don't have all the the exhaust fluid emissions crap that uh, the newer ones do so you know you you really get the best of both worlds when you get an LBZ Duramax it's the one everybody wants and the good thing is the depreciation is basically gone in these trucks I mean there's uh, you keep it maintained it'll be worth what I'll sell this truck for basically forever so that's one good thing to keep in mind um, if you want to fly in drive it home you can uh, if you rather have it shipped if you don't want to spend several days driving or flying in and driving home don't let the idea of shipping one scare you because that's why we do these videos so you can see for yourself that they really are uh, you know ready to hit the road and don't let the prices you see online scare you because most of those guys are brokers and they'll charge you hundreds of dollars up front and they call it a deposit but all it really is is their broker's fee for making the arrangements for somebody else to uh, haul you the truck and they all get on this website that's not open to the public that costs a couple grand a year to be on it and that's where they find somebody to actually haul your truck to you well we're on that website we spent the money to be on it so basically we can offer our customers wholesale rates on shipping so if you're interested shoot me a text to 601-376-9869 and I will get you a good ballpark figure on shipping. So, um, like I said, just shoot me your zip code and I'll do that. And if you're anywhere near Dallas or Houston or Atlanta or pretty much anywhere in the state of Florida, then we can get you a real good deal on shipping. So, uh, just let me know. Basically, the way it works is you FedEx me a cashier's check or do a bank wire for the price of the truck only. I post it for shipment, send you the title and stuff, and when um, they drop the truck off to you, you just hand them cash for the transportation. I don't charge a markup or a fee or anything. It's a free service to my customers, although if you're not a customer, I'll do it for 50 bucks, but I'd rather you be a customer, and I do it for free. Um, but we make it a real smooth, simple transaction. Um, I've shipped hundreds all over the country. So, um, you know, I'm not the shipper. I don't have any control over the shipping time. I just, I post it. I wait to hear from somebody. I've had them picked up the same day. I've had it take a week or so. I mean, it just depends. And a lot of that depends on if you want to save some money, I can post it for cheaper than the suggested price. And, you know, wait until we catch somebody with an empty spot on their trailer that wants to make a deal. Or if you're in a hurry for your truck, I can post it for more than the suggested price and you know try and make it worth somebody's while to detour out of their way to come pick you up come pick up the truck so I mean either way uh, there's options so if you're interested let me know I'll be glad to go over everything with you talk about uh, the choices and all that I want to show the dash before we go you can see um, no warning lights, no service lights, no ABS airbag, none of that. I like to show the dash after I've been driving a while because, you know, it's easy to hook your scan tool up and kill a light and say, oh, look, no lights. But if there's a problem and you haven't fixed it, then that light's going to come right back on as soon as you go to driving it. So I like to show the dash after I've been driving a while so you can see for yourself that there really are no lights lit. Now there's a traffic jam on the interstate and everybody's detouring, but I'm not going that way. I'm going back this other way, so I'm gonna go around a little bit. You can see our uh, beautiful city of Jackson that just boards things up and hopes for the best. But uh, anyway, if you have any questions about the truck, give me a call. If you wanna know what it takes to buy it, give me a call. I wanna make an offer, any of that, give me a call. 601-376-9869 we appreciate you watching the video and listening to everything i've had to say about this truck and look forward to seeing you here in jackson mississippi thank you